Hi, and welcome back to another discussion of synoptic scale weather features. And we're working our way through different types of atmospheres. We already covered barotropic atmospheres, and we started into baroclinic atmospheres. We looked at a special type of baroclinic atmosphere. We looked at equivalent barotropic. We talked about cold core systems and warm core systems, whether they be high pressure or low pressure. Now we're going to look at baroclinic. What do we mean by baroclinic or purely baroclinic systems? And a baroclinic system or baroclinic atmosphere is one where density depends upon both temperature and pressure and where um, horizontal temperature gradient uh, intersects um, lines of constant height, which means that uh, we have thermal wind. And if there's thermal wind, that means you have an increasing wind with height. And this can cause jet streaks and it can cause, uh, of course, the geostrophic wind to vary with height. So a baroclinic system is one where there's temperature advection, where isotherms intersect uh, height contours on a constant pressure chart. So of course, you've got a temperature gradient, and that temperature gradient causes a thermal wind in the upper levels of the atmosphere. You get stronger winds, and you have temperature advection. And with temperature advection, you have jet streaks. So looking at a 700 millibar map, this is what you see. You see, of course, uh, isotherms intersecting uh, contours. And this is what it looks like on a 500 millibar chart, or three, five, uh, 850 millibar chart. And um, here you've got uh, some warm air advection across uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, and that region. So this must be a baroclinic atmosphere. So with baroclinic atmospheres, you have thermal wind. Thermal wind means wind shear, which means wind increases with height. And since there's temperature advection, you've got these jet streaks. And jet streaks cause frontogenesis and cyclogenesis. So where you have a baroclinic atmosphere, you have the development of weather systems. So that is the classification of weather systems into barotropic and baroclinic and special types of baroclinic atmospheres. Hope you enjoyed it.